And I finally finished this project as I promised in the last video a few days ago. Guys, this is certainly one of the longest and most complex projects that I have published here on this channel. I try to show all the phases of creation, but in an adventure like this, it is really difficult to not forget something or leave out some secondary phases. The wire diagram is summarized in a single image, but you know, it's really simple to create thanks to an ESP32 room edition and a Max 9814 microphone. I must say that the final result is truly spectacular. An explosion of colored LED to the rhythmic of the music. If you enjoy the project you find in my playlist, I invite you to consider joining the community of channel supporters. In this way you will be able to see the new content in advance and browse the backstage and preparatory phases of each video like the one you will see today. Building a video is an incredible adventure. If you want, you can subscribe to the channel and leave a like. Have a fun and see you in the next video. And so let's start with Fusion 360 using a 16 LED Neo Pixel stripes. I created a panel in which to insert all 16 stripes of 16 LEDs. In this panel I also added some slots which will then be used to insert the 256 transparent caps. On the back I added two supports for attaching to the base. And so I ordered the materials I need to make this project. The filament I used for printing the caps is transparent PETG from Overture. I also tried the transparent filament with different temperatures. And here we noticed that by lowering the extrusion temperature the print became too opaque. I also adjusted other parameters such as cooling to avoid stringing. And so I used a temperature of 230 degrees for the PETG prints. I tried to imagine different shapes for the clear caps so they could spread the light more evenly. At the end the solution I adopted was that of the simple parallel pipe. With Bruce Slicer I prepare the file to print with my Voron 2.4 and start printing. All links to the STL files can be found in the description. For the back panel I used black PLAI.
we will attach the panel to the base here. Here we will insert the wires that connect the stripes. The caps will be inserted like this. PCB Ways offer the best custom PCB prototyping service, but they also offer injection molding, 3D printing laser, and CNC cutting with their instant quote feature. You can simply upload your model and choose from SLA, FDM, and SLM, which is a laser mounting a metal powder to make metal parts. They also have an instant quote feature for their custom PCB. So go ahead and try it right now at the PCBWay.com. Each stripe must have 16 LEDs. Be careful to cut exactly in the middle of the pitches. And let's remember that the LED stripes have a direction to respect indicated by this arrow. The measurement I use is this. Let's start soldering the wires. I used wire for plus 5 volt green for signal and blue for GND. Check carefully that the stripes are in the same direction. And this is the result after welding. All stripes join with equal direction arrow. Each panel will be fixed to the base with four skew each. I let the glue dry.
the stripes should be positioned like this one stripe in upward direction and the next one in downwards We remove the film from the adhesive stripes and proceed to fix them on the rear panel. This is the result after positioning all the lead stripes. Now with a simple Arduino one, I try the LED stripes. I check that all the LEDs light up and that the sequence is correct. And everything works fine. I also quick test the electronic part and the microphone. And now we begin the long work of inserting the 256 transparent caps.
We finish by printing and attaching 4 feet to a base. We cover the wires with this black PLA print and strips. You will find all the file in the description. And finally, 